Thank you for joining us. Satna, the Inward Path, is a journey into the self, a shedding of the material layers that cloak us from the essence of the self, a journey towards enlightenment. Durban Artistic Director Leanne Lutz creatively used elements of music and dance to depict this journey in her latest production, Sadhana. Our team was there to find out more. The concept Sadhana is um, loosely translated uh, to one's personal journey towards enlightenment. And through this work, um, our director, choreographer Leanne Lutz has um, scripted a very um, potent way of conveying this message to the audience. And we've used a reference of um, a great composer, uh, Surdas, He's one of his poems where he gives the ahari or the outward embellishments of the dancer's body, such as his clothes, his jewelry. He's given all of this a material connotation, a negative vice. Piece. The piece is about a sadhana. It is about a group of people arrive in a landscape and they meet a guide, a guru, whatever you want to call him, and this guru leads them. And um, for me that's interesting and because it's a, a voluntary leading and you see the dancers slowly starting to take off clothes, which is really just a symbol of what we clothe ourselves, what holds us or what binds us. And in the process of guiding his disciples through the journey, through the sadhana, he is forced to actually address his own uh, journey as a guru. And uh, this is actually very close to um, my real life role as a teacher of dance and music. And um, I feel as a guru, you should be open to, be, uh, to learn from your students. And actually the guru has to shed more. Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha 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 Takitada 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 It's very hard in dance to um, it's also hard in language to um, articulate a spiritual journey um, I think that musicians and dancers do it by becoming euphoric and by understanding. So for me it was quite hard to find images or symbols to use to allow an audience from whatever religious tradition they come from to start to understand this notion of shedding or getting rid of. Of course it's very um, germane to the Hindu tradition but I think all spiritual traditions ask you to relinquish or surrender that very difficult word and so we kind of hit on this image of using clothing as a way of just removing the obstacles and it becomes an image of how we you know we clothe ourselves we we add things we add, you know we kind of hide ourselves and then suddenly there's that moment where it's quite vulnerable where you actually have to take something off you have to you surrender the ego you have to surrender you know your sense of self you have to just sublimate yourself or surrender to something higher to a god consciousness We're working with different genres, we're working with um, cross-cultural sounds, music, different dance languages, uh, different cultural backgrounds, uh, but the common denominator and the very integral uh, component is that of commitment, of devotion, of discipline. And I think regardless of uh, where your genre or background is, if one has that mindset and shares that common denominator, then putting work together like this is uh, very, very uh, satisfying and very simple. Um, so we're working with three very different traditions of music. The one is obviously the classical Indian tradition of the tabla. Um, the second would be the djembe, the African djembe drama, and Mandla Macha plays all those West African, African sort of traditional sounds. And then Madala Kunene, which who's known, you know, very famous living 
living legend in terms of Muscanda and guitar. And um, what, what happened was that idea of, of crossing rhythms in terms of sound. And it was extraordinary. For me, one of the most interesting pieces and in, moments in the work is when the guru figure himself strips and he takes off his clothes, his shirt, and symbolically we all, no matter who we are on the journey, have to shed things in order to find enlightenment. And so there's this moment at the end where they all willingly hand their the last garment that they're wearing to the guru figure and they come out in white, which are the devotees' clothes. And they just relinquish, they, it almost, the peace becomes almost still, and it's that inward path. The gungurus resemble the outside layer of the human being, and once that is shed, it allows you to actually dig in deeper and find, a, be resourceful and find another strength to come out again towards the quest of sadhana. Holy forgiveness, mercy, charity, faith, holy, ours. Bodies, suffering, magnanimity, holy the supernatural, extra brilliant, intelligent kindness of the soul. It was the Buddha who said, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. We trust you have enjoyed the inward experience with us today. Be sure to catch your favorite sadhana episodes now on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Until next week, do keep up your sadhana. Om Shanti.